Hey, what's up everyone? And yeah, today I'm going to show you how you can play your favorite games from the cloud using your Quest in combination with GeForce Now. This service allows you to enjoy all your titles from Steam, Epic Games, Xbox and more on a giant virtual screen, blurring the lines between what's real and what isn't, transporting you to places you could, well, only dream of, proving that the future of gaming isn't just coming, no, it's already here. For your information, this setup guide works for all Quest headsets, but as always, make sure you are on the latest firmware for the best possible experience. With that being said though, let me show you how to make the magic happen. First, grab your Quest and find a comfy spot where you want to play your games. Inside the headset, open the internet browser and use your virtual keyboard to head over to the official GeForce Now website, which I will also link in the description below. Once you've made it onto its landing page, click join now in the top right corner. From here you can gain access to your very own cloud computer that handles all the heavy lifting. That is, if memberships aren't sold out. I'd recommend starting with the free basic rig first when available. It's a great way to dip your toes into cloud gaming, giving you an hour of playtime per session. After that, you can always upgrade to the performance or ultimate tiers, which range from $10 to $20 per month, featuring higher resolutions, better frame rates, ray tracing and more hours of play. It's crazy how you're essentially renting the power of a physical graphics card and digitally stuffing it into a wearable. That said, do keep in mind that a 5GHz Wi-Fi connection is recommended. These are the resolutions you can push based on different internet speeds. When you've decided which membership to try first, you can start linking your libraries on play.geforcenow.com. At its homepage, click on the top left corner, select settings and on the right you'll see an option to sync all your digital games. Doing this in mixed reality can be a bit of a hassle, since you may need to verify access outside of the headset, but luckily you only have to do this once. After you've successfully linked your libraries, your titles should appear on the landing page. Some games may be missing as not everything is supported yet, but new ones are added each Thursday. All you need to do now is pair your gamepad. An Xbox controller is recommended since it's the only one officially supported by Meta. However, I'll include a link in the video's description that provides a workaround for using a PS5 controller as well. For the real pros, you can of course connect a keyboard to Quest 2, which can be convenient for more serious game sessions. Anyways, to pair your Xbox controller, go to your headset's settings, select Bluetooth and then hold the Xbox logo and the pairing button simultaneously for a few seconds until it starts flashing. Once it's ready, it should find your headset automatically. A solid light indicates a successful pairing. Before you dive into a game though, don't forget to navigate to Devices, Gamepad and turn off Gaze Cursor. This usually activates itself when you aren't using your touch controllers, causing a white dot to appear in the middle of your screen, which can be very distracting while gaming. Lastly, it is recommended to turn on hand tracking too, so you don't always have to reach for your controllers when adjusting things, but that's totally up to you. That said, you should now be able to use your controller inside the browser. Simply select the game you want to play and voila, you're good to go. Loading times vary per game but are quite decent. In general, you shouldn't have to wait for more than a minute. What's nice is that you can hide your menu by going full screen and resizing your window, making it as large as you like. Playing games on a giant screen never gets old and one of the main reasons I own a headset. On top of that, you can also dim your surroundings to fully focus on the gameplay without distractions. Who's the man? Additionally, you can grab your screen and pin it to the ceiling, so you can play games while lying down. Instead of having to stare at your boring ceiling, you can decide to teleport to any of the quest environments. More importantly, comfort is key. Personally, I use the E3 Pro strap by Bobo VR, as its design keeps the headset balanced without feeling too heavy. 
It also features hot swappable batteries, each adding one and a half hours of extra playtime, plus padding all around for added comfort. A cool bonus is that you can plug in your headphones on the side and use them during your play sessions. Just keep in mind that this strap is only compatible with the Quest 3 and 3S. If you're interested, there is an affiliate link in the description, which means that if you purchase the strap through this link, it doesn't cost you extra, but helps support my channel. In general, the performance of my Ultimate membership has been excellent. No serious latency between the controller and the game, responsive haptics, solid frame rates, and most importantly, easy access to my titles without having to download or update them. Of course, it's no problem to tweak your streaming quality or adjust in-game graphics. You can go back into your GeForce Now settings and customize everything from max bitrate to resolution. And that, my friends, is how you can cloud game on Quest right now. I recently did another video on why cloud gaming is the future, covering all the ins and outs of GeForce Now in mixed reality. I'll make sure to link that video in the description as well. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this video was useful. If it was, then make sure to leave a like so more people can discover this content in their recommended. Until next time and bye bye for now. See you.